This video was kind of worked out on the go. I scoured the location yesterday but never vlogged, just enjoyed an hour's photography soaking in the view. But it's a great location so I've returned and I thought you would like to come along. We're going to shoot long exposure photographs, getting those silky smooth seas. I'm not getting over technical but if you stick around until the end I've included a bonus photograph and share with you how I focus and calculate those crazy exposure times. You're part of the photographic community that gives me so much, so it's time to give back to all of you. It's my mission to inspire and pass on my knowledge, passion and skills. You can subscribe using the watermark button on the screen. Ring your bell to make your subscription account. Please stay to the end and comment with your feedback that keeps the channel going. Well, good morning, guys. Um, if you've uh, been on any of my workshops or you've uh, seen any of other videos, uh, you probably will have realized that this is exactly how I would tell you not to set your tripod up. Um, but sometimes you've got to break all the uh, rules, however sound, however good they are, just because you want to get the picture. So a little bit different today. Um, Normally I spend my time up on the moors and up in the upland areas, but I've come to the coast because I do do a little bit of coastal photography as well. And in fact, there are a few other um, videos earlier on in the channel where I, I visited some beaches. But um, today we're at a place called Stoke, Stoke Beach in, uh, in, in South Devon. And uh, we're going to try and get a few pictures. We turned up here just before sunrise. Um, I don't think we're going to get much colour in the sky, so I'm going to concentrate on the water and some of that reflected light and uh, try and get some really slow shutter speed stuff going and uh, see what we can do with that. So I'm going to set up the first picture and then uh, when I finish doing that we'll give you some uh, details and some information on, on what they are. Right, that's the first picture on its way, guys. I'm uh, shooting in something called bold mode. That's what I was just doing when I was adjusting the camera, just putting it up in the bold. And uh, what bold mode is basically means as long as I hold this to keep the um, shutter open, it'll, um, it'll keep recording. And the reason I'm doing it is because I've uh, put the Lee six stop filter on and um, that basically cuts down a huge amount of light, six stops. And as you know, well, as you may be know, you, you, you may not, but if you've got a one second exposure, a stop under, if you increase that, sorry, the next would be two, four, eight, 16. So it, it ranks up very, very, very quickly. So where I was at two and a half seconds before, it's not long before you're into minutes. I've also put the polarizer on just to darken that sea, that water down a little bit and try and take out some of those reflections on the water. So the idea is that we'll have nicely exposed but we'll have a very smooth flat water and it'll um, look nice and ethereal. So that's 1 minute 25. I probably won't make you stand here with me and see the rest of it. We'll see what it comes out like in a minute. Got to be a little bit careful because the tripod is touching the fence and uh, I'm trying to make sure that I don't jog that during the exposure um, or we're going to end up with uh, blurred photographs. Okay, so there we go. There's our first picture. So let's go 
into the uh, view playback and uh, let's get rid of that yeah that's pretty good pretty good what I'm gonna have to do though is I'm gonna have to bracket so I'm not gonna make you stay with me whilst I do all the bracketed pictures because that's just gonna be absolutely ridiculous but uh, okay right I'm going to take those other pictures and I'll, I'll show you these at the end. Okay, well that'll do for here. Um, I've taken probably about six or seven pictures whilst you've been um, sort of off frame, shall we say, and not recording. So that's probably taken me ooh, probably about 10, 15 minutes to run all of those off because there's multiple minutes and seconds in all of them. So I think I've got what I wanted. Um, I'm going to pack the camera up and uh, put the vlogging camera away, get myself down to the beach at the bottom and uh, then start exploring and looking for some more pictures and ideas and different things down there. So um, I'll put up the picture that I've just taken now, hope you like it and uh, I'll see you down on the beach. I tried processing this straight after I'd taken it, I just could not get it right. For a while I thought there may not be a video, but taking the advice from some other photographers I left it for a few days and tried again. And somehow it worked. The image is slowly growing on me. I don't know how wildlife photographers do it because when you're shooting in bold mode waiting for 40 seconds and then half a stop more so we go to what 80 seconds and then we go another stop so we go one minute you know sorry we, we go a minute and then we're going to go for two minutes and three minutes it seems to take absolutely ages that's what I've just done. Once again, I've sort of come down and uh, taken some pictures and, and had a look at the way that it is. I'm going to get you down around here so you can see the composition that I'm working on. And uh, then we'll put the picture up on the screen. So come over here and um, see what you think. Okay, so what I've done is I've um, used this rock on the, uh, on the, on the left-hand side sorry your yeah this side here to lead your eye into the picture so if I walk back through the frame this just brings your eye gradually back down into the water and uh, takes your eye out to the rocks which are on on this side over here which are all lit up quite nice and bright and look really really good so um, just give you some idea of the camera settings um, I've already taken the picture because if I hadn't um, I would have missed the light that I was trying to get so I've been shooting at um, what would appear to be uh, basically f11 um, and I've taken pictures between 180 seconds um, yeah 180 seconds 120 seconds 80 seconds um, and everything in between just to try and get the exposure right now I've shot at f11 I think we're going to be okay at that um, hopefully um, everything's sort of like pin sharp and 
it, it'll work out quite well. But I don't know if you can see it, there's another rock um, almost vertically above this one pointing up into the sky. So I'm going to have a look at a composition with that and see how it goes. I probably won't vlog that one to be honest, but I might show you the picture at the end. This was easy to edit. It's not a portfolio image, but not everyone has to be. Sometimes just being there, taking the picture and enjoying the photography is enough. I cropped it heavily on the right hand side. That seems to have added a bit of impact. One final four minute exposure, then we're done. And uh, I did say I wasn't going to vlog this, didn't I? But you know, I started thinking about, I wonder how many of you guys are thinking, how on earth does he work out his exposures? Well, I thought I'd, I'd let you into a, a secret which you may not know about. When you're using a six stop, 10 stop, 15 stop, or whatever ND filter, quite often you can't actually see what you're doing. You can't see the focus and you certainly can't work out the exposure. And when you're using bold mode, bold mode, you need to use a timer, which will actually run for you. So what I do is I compose my picture without the filter in place, focus, go to manual focus, and then I take my pictures. But I take a meter reading um, before I start taking the pictures and the filters are put on. And that gives me somewhere to start from. And I use a app, and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this here or not, but I use an app from Lee Filters. And they basically got their six stop, their 10 stop, and their 15 stops across the top. So I'll keep an eye on this. And then on the left hand side, you dial in what your exposure is, no filters. And on the right hand side, it tells you what that picture is. So as you can see from here, the last one that I was set on was two seconds and it gave me a two minute exposure. So why am I going up to four minutes, you probably ask. Well, the thing is, is that when you expose your each stop doubles each time. So from two minutes to four minutes is actually only one stop of light. So I've taken one at three stops, that's right, three minutes. And now I've just done the four minute one and that's basically given me an extra full stop exposure. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to push it as high up as I can um, to get the shadows in, because it's quite shadowy here, but also not blow the highlights out. So I'm going up about half a stop at a time, which from two to um, three was half a stop, four is only a quarter of a stop. So it's very, very small movements. So I'm gonna have another look at this one and uh, maybe I've got to take a bit more and uh, we'll, we'll have a look and then I'm going to uh, I think pack up and probably call it a day or a morning I won't vlog it but I might sit here and have a cup of coffee first okay so I'm going to review these pictures now and uh, get the exposure spot on and then uh, right at the end of it I'm going to show you guys what I've taken You know, this is the least favourite of the three photographs I took, and yet it's the one I had hoped most for. It seems to be a theme developing about expectations not being met. You may want to watch this video as well. You see, it's not pin sharp. It's my fault I walked around during the four minute exposure. I think I disturbed the sand. You never stop learning. I still like the idea of the picture, but it needs something extra. Maybe stronger seas and a stormy sky. Who knows, autumn and winter are coming. Maybe we will be back. I hope you're enjoying the video. Maybe you would like to carry on. So try these suggestions next. I want to share more knowledge, more skills, more passion and stories about photography with you. So think about subscribing. If you do, ring the bell. It will make you a subscription count. If you have time, comment. I will see you on the next video.
So get out there and enjoy your photography.